Hey guys, welcome back. This is Naresh. So in this video, we will talk about reports in TestNG. As you know already that TestNG is already providing me certain reports, right? If you go here and if you go to test output, it gives me a very beautiful reports, uh, which is in testNGResult.xml and even index.html, where I can see the reports. So if I do a right click, open with and web browser, okay. So TestNG internally provides me some reports like this, okay, which I can go ahead and check which one are failing, which methods are passing and all those things, right? But there are some third party report also, which is provided by outsiders, which is outside the TestNG, which are very beautiful reports, which we can generate and can provide to our leads, to our managers. But how can we do that? So there is one third party report called extend reports okay so extend report is one of the third party report okay and it will look something like this okay so this is very beautiful report which we can use uh, in our uh, coding and uh, very few line of code and it can help you to generate these kinds of beautiful reports so how can we do that so for that we need to do we have to first go to google and we have to download its jar file okay so what I can give, I can give here extent report, okay, and I can give Maven dependency because I am downloading through Maven and I want version 3. So there are many versions available. So I'm using version 3 here, all right, and I need to give this dependency into my pom.xml, right, so control C and i'm going to pom.xml file and here in the dependency i can paste it and control s and you'll see it will start downloading it okay so 17 person has done all right let me just show you the document again till the time it downloads so if you see here in this extent report there is something called example this one so this is the code which we need to write if we want to use the reports but it in this if you see everything is written into the main method so we what we will do we will divide this into various methods so that we don't have to write this again and again into the each test case okay so what we can do here let let it be download then i can show you how we can write our extend reports okay so let's see if it has downloaded so i believe it has been downloaded now because there's no progress bar written so this is my class file right and here i have all the test cases so what i can do just at the top you know that for running anything before any test i need to give a tag called at the rate before test so the same tag will give here at the rate You can do a control space or you can just type it. I did control space and my computer is getting freeze. <coughs> okay. Why it's getting freeze? Okay, so basically what you need to do, you have to type something into the tag called at the rate before test. Okay. So at the rate before and then test. All right. And it giving some error. Let's see what it is. It says to import it. Okay. So we are importing it. All right. Now you have to give what method here called public void. You can give any name. I am calling it as setup. So basically in all the projects you have to give something like a setup where you can you know initialize your browser and everything So right now we are not working with the browser, but I am just showing you the concept how we can use the reports Okay, so there are two variables which we need to use one is extend test and one is extend reports Okay, so if you if you see this code here You can see the extend report is something which we need to use and the extend test is something which we need to use. Okay, so I'm just copying this extend uh, test. 
first. Okay, in the class. All right, so that it can be seen from all the test cases. And another is the extent reports. All right, so this is extent reports. All right. And for this extent test, I can give any name. An extent report also, I can give any name. So what I'm doing right now, just, you know, for the clarity, because this is some kind of a logger, test is a logger here. So I will keep it name as logger. All right. So let's see. Import extent test. And it says import extent report. So these are the two things which I need to keep inside. And the other things are which I want is because we have already, you know, uh, put it extent reports and extent test outside. So what I need to do, I will copy all this first, which is given here. Okay. Up to description. And then I can put under before test. Okay. Because uh, we have already given extent test. So an extent report. So I will remove this extent reports from here. And I can remove extend test from here and here I can just give logger. Okay. And I need to import this extend HTML reporter. All right. So this has been done. So we are done with our setup. And here I can give my suit or my test suit. Okay. And here I can give any description. Let me call it my description or my report. All right, so you can just give as per your need. So we have already set up our extent report. So from here to here, we have already done that. And these are the things we can give inside our test. Okay, and now we have also to make sure that we have some kind of uh, logging at the test level so instead of writing all these things at the test level what i can do i can write one more method here which is at the rate after method okay and let's see error it's trying to import so i want this method to get run after every method so i will say here after method or maybe after my method because it's always better to give a different name than the keywords which are already there in Java else it will always give you an error okay so what does it say annotation disallowed at this location okay wait So here I can give I test result. Let me just write it, then I can just explain you. I test result result. Okay. And let's see, it's error. It says to import. Okay. So I have imported that after my method and here what I can give see what happened that you know so this is my setup which is which will run one time my test will get execute okay this is a method which will run every time once my test case get execute after that that this method will run okay so here I can give certain conditions so what I can do this is the variable where I'm getting a result like pass, fail, skip. So I can just check that, that what I'm getting that once my methods are getting run. So I will give something here like if result dot. Okay. So there are many methods given here. I will ask for the status if result dot get status. Okay. I will all ask for the status and I will try to compare it with my I test result. dot and I can see if it is a failure okay 
So if it is a failure, what I want to do? In that case, I need, can use my logger. So I can use the logger which I have given above. That's, so there are many methods given here also for the logger. I can give logger.fail. Alright. And under that, I can give either any text if I want to print a text. Or I can just type result dot throwable. Okay, result dot. There are two things given here. So I can type get throwable. And here I can get a message. All right. Because I want if my results get failed, you know, it will print the message into my report. All right. Else. I can give logger dot I can give anything maybe I can give pass or I can get info and here I can give past simple I'm just showing you that how we can you know go ahead and log from our site into the report how can we create our own reports by using a third party tool okay so let me just give this under curly braces. All right. Okay. So we are doing this under after method. Now, once my report get run completely, what I need to do after that, uh, this method get run, in the end, I can give 